Hey everyone, what's up? It's Stamper Bro here, and I want to show you guys this really cool mini map system that I have here. Uh, this is my first plugin I've made. Uh, as you can see, you can see uh, treasure locations on the map and whatnot. Um, I gotta really modify the tile set there to make that more visible. Anyway, uh, as you can see, you can see the warp rooms and everything. Uh, the details are limitless, almost. <laughs> well, yeah, there's up to total. There's a total of 255 possible colors at the same time on the mini map. Um, it's pretty cool. You can see a little player location there. Uh, and again, you can see like where the treasures are and whatnot. Um, so, you can show and hide the minimap um, anytime you want. So you can set up some sort of thing where you have to buy the map for the area if you wanted to using events and all that. So, let me go ahead and explain how it works. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of regions here. We have four, five, uh, we have three, and the treasure chests are two. Basically, how the minimap system works is you draw it out using the regions. So, um, you can customize the color for each and every single region. So, let's say you wanted to modify um, the first region's color, which is region 1, but we're not, we're not using that one. So, let's modify 4. So, let's turn region 4's color to... Let's do... Let's do a reddish tint. CC or yellowish 9900. Uh, let's make the opacity. Let's make it a little bit less, like 200. Uh, five, which would be the unpassable areas, as you can see on the mini map here, that, or as you can see on the map here that I have. Um, I'm using five to represent the areas that you cannot pass. So let's make that like a darker red. Let's do three. Let's do 993300. Uh, we're gonna change the opacity to 200 as well. And let's change the background color to something like really dark red, uh, 551100. Uh, keep its opacity default. And let's check it out. As you can see, the minimap colors have now changed. Um, two is still the little orange area, which is uh, there to represent the treasure chest. And the uh, teleport areas, or the areas that you can move through, are still um, are still the same color because we haven't changed three. So then, uh, you can also customize the player's width and height. So let's do let's let's change the player icon. Let's do it. Uh, let's do four by four. Let's let's see how four by four looks. You can also decide to show player or not. And there you go. Now the player icon is much bigger. Or little player dot, I should say. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the plugin commands. If you want to show the mini map, you have, uh, all you have to do is type what you see here, uh, upp underscore mini map, and then show. It's case sensitive, so make sure they're all capital. And if you want to hide it, just do the same thing. And instead of typing show, you just type hide. To show and hide the player, what you need to do is type what you see here, um, upp underscore m underscore show player. That's all caps, and then in lowercase, you type either true or false. You can see here. By doing this, you can show and hide the minimap or show and hide the player icon at will. So if you're going through a cutscene, for example, and you don't want the player icon to show up, uh, and, but you don't want to hide the minimap for some reason, well, there you go. You can just hide the player icon. So I really hope this comes in handy for everyone. This is really, really cool. It's my first plugin. I'm really excited to release it. Uh, you can get it in the description below, and yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.